Since getting elected, I've heard from constituents in our riding of Parkdale High Park about people who have been affected by the no-fly list and false positives. During these conversations, I learned about the array of complex issues with the no-fly list. I learned that this issue is pervasive among Canadians of all faiths, all backgrounds, and all ethnicities. It brought these concerns directly to the attention of Minister Morno and Minister Goodale. On Tuesday, I was proud to see this advocacy pay off. In Budget 2018, our government is committed to enhancing the Passenger Protect Program by investing $81.4 million over the next five years and $14 million each year ongoing. These critical investments will be used to develop a rigorous, centralized screening model and establish a domestic redress mechanism for legitimate air travelers who are affected by the program. This action is undoubtedly the result of amazing advocacy by parents whose children are affected by issues with the current no-fly list, and this investment will help to resolve those false positives.